Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Fielder. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. First Lady Jill Biden visiting mid-Michigan today. She landed at MBS International Airport in Freeland before going to Mount Pleasant with U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy. Mount Pleasant's mayor was at the airport to greet the First Lady. Very excited uh, to have the opportunity to greet Dr. Biden and uh, thankful that she's here in our community and engaging our community partners. In Mount Pleasant, they are holding a listening session on youth mental health with members of the Saginaw Chippewa Indian tribe. A Davison school board member has a pretrial hearing tomorrow. Matthew Smith is accused of making a threatening phone call to a Houghton County clerk. The clerk, Jennifer Kelly, says Smith threatened to kill her dogs. Smith is a former employee of TV5. And a reminder for just about everybody in mid-Michigan today, anyone in the 989-810-616 and 906 area codes will need to dial the area code for every local phone call. That's known as 10-digit dialing. Not only that, but you'll also need to ensure some of your devices are programmed for 10-digit numbers. They include medical monitoring devices, fire and burglar alarms, and fax machines. This will not affect your phone number, rates, or how you dial numbers like 911, 211, or other similar services. It's all in preparation for the rollout of the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline 988, which will begin next year. Any area code that uses the prefix of 988 is affected by the 10-digit dialing change. Now here is John with a look at your forecast. Thank you very much, Jason. Let's go over the forecast as we're going throughout the rest of the weekend, and we'll show you what's coming your way as we're going into the brand new week. Showers will continue to increase from the south to the north as we get past dinner time into the overnight period tonight. Temperatures not as cold, though. We're talking numbers tonight down into the low to mid 40s as we wake up into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's going to be a rainy day and breezy, too. You'll have winds right there out of the northeast at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. High temperatures only reaching the low 50s and due to to those stronger winds off the lake. Uh, we do have lakeshore flood advisories pretty much in effect there for our shoreline counties throughout most of the day on Monday. So not only are we going to be anticipating rain falling from the sky, but we could see some minor shoreline flooding uh, if you do have any homes or properties there as we're going throughout the day tomorrow. As we get past Monday into midweek, we will get a few dry days Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we will have to watch the chance for another system moving in late Thursday, especially into the day on Friday. Temperatures throughout the week, even into next weekend, keep you right there there in the 50s and the first one five weather center. I'm Daryl just John gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV five on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.